Hey, this is Tim Pierce. Uh, around about 2011, I got offered a, a chance to teach Tom Cruise to play guitar for a film. It was the film Rock of Ages. And I ended up on the phone with Tom's sister, and I ended up losing the gig in one conversation. Anyway, my friend Tom Rizzullo was over here. He asked me if I had any stories about losing about things that went wrong. And I said, well, here's one. <laughs> <laughs> and oddly, I ended up actually working on the movie right as they were finishing the music, uh, and I got a screen credit for playing some guitar while Tom Cruise was on screen. You hear this blues guitar, and some of it's me. So it is kind of an interesting story. We keep it short and sweet if you like this kind of thing. And indeed, the person who got the gig went on location for two months and earned a substantial amount of money. Click the link below if you want to check out the 14-day free trial in the online masterclass. <laughs>
when you run into that situation where you say, I can do Mondays and Wednesdays, and then, <laughs> and then you go, well, maybe that doesn't work for them. Well, also <laughs> Tuesdays and Thursdays, so I can see how that would happen. Think about it. Tom Cruise is on a production where there are 200 people working, you know, 18 hours a day. Nobody has the luxury of saying... I can do this at my convenience. Right. You know, it's just one of those things you don't do. Anyway, the the great part of the story was about a year later, after they had finished the movie, I got a call from Adam Anders. Adam Anders was the guy who did all of the Glee episodes for years, and it was tons of music. It was kept everybody in LA really, really busy. Um, <clears throat> and that it was at the tail end of that. And Adam's a super talented songwriter producer. And he was doing the music with Tom. Ron Anderson actually coached Tom uh, in the voice department, uh, but Adam produced all the music and with a partner of his and a really great team. Adam called me and said, hey, we're finishing up the, the score for Rock of Ages. We need you to put some guitar down. So I go down to Conway Studios and they're having me play guitar licks, kind of rock blues guitar licks in every scene of Tom Cruise's. Hmm. And so I'm becoming kind of the emotional voice when Tom is on screen a year later. Right. And all the music had been done. I was just more of a, you know, they decided near the end that they needed more kind of guitar in the background while he was being a rock star and yeah. acting out. And so Matt Sullivan, the music supervisor, he said, dude, you really missed out, man. The, the guy they hired went to Miami and Tom did a few guitar lessons, but hey, I took some guitar lessons from him because he had so much free time. And, and I said, Matt, you know, I, I would have been suicidal after a week. I got right. so much done in that period of time. And he knew that. He knew yeah. that. I think they kind of abandoned the concept a little bit with Tom because he's only in one scene playing and it looks pretty real. Yeah. Um, I think in, originally they wanted him to do a lot of guitar playing in the movie. Well, he does all of his own stunts. <laughs> so. Well, that's the, I, I mean, you got to respect him for that. Yeah, he, absolutely. He did all of his own singing in that movie and apparently... I mean, he's got this amazing range. They just had to work with his tuning, basically. Yeah. But he has all the singing he's doing in the movie is him. So it was amazing to me to actually miss this whole thing and realize it was okay that I missed it because I know the amount of stuff I got done during that period of time. And I know myself. I can't. I, if I had been sitting there being inactive, um, I would have. I would have quit after a week. I would have had right. them get somebody else because it would have been too, even if you were on the beach. But you know. I get so much done with all you know my videos and my sessions right. that, that I, I couldn't have done that. So it, it was actually a blessing in disguise. Yeah. And when I went and saw the movie, it was, oh, and then the, in the movie, the greatest thing happened. There's a screen credit at the end, and my name comes up as a featured guitar player. Tim and, Pierce? Yeah. That's <laughs> Which never guy. happens in movies. So it says Michael Landau, Tim Pierce. Now, Michael oh, Landau man. did most of it. And then a Swedish guitar player who they didn't tell me his name is one part of their team. He did some of it too. Mm -hmm. But people go, that's the guy. Which is funny because you couldn't say that in the first place, but now no. they all know. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Your name on a black screen. Yeah. Yeah. So. It's funny because that's such a, it's a funny story, but your work ethic and what made you successful, um, would have led to you not being happy if you had gotten that gig. Absolutely. I mean, I get so many good things done, and I recommend this to people. It's not about the money. It's about the people you meet. It's about the, the two hours you do in some situation that leads to 10 years of great work. Right. It's the seeds you plant. And you can't plant any seeds if you're sitting in a hotel room waiting, you know, f to, to do something, right. you know, for somebody else. Right. So what did I learn from this? Well, uh, I learned that I could live without a, a, a giant amount of extra money earned over 60 days. Uh, but I also, I know myself, I would not have been able to make it through that. I, I am pretty, uh, I'm wired pretty strong for getting stuff done every day. And and I get to do a lot of great music and a lot of great videos these days. And, and it was just okay that that didn't happen. But uh, uh, I learned, I definitely learned, definitely in business, um, there's, the, the least words possible, the most confident words possible, and no need to tell your personal story to someone you have never met and don't know who is trying to hire you. <laughs>